Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Looking for a messaging app that's full of features, open source, and focuses greatly on your privacy? Well, look no further, because in this video, I'm gonna show you just that. Meet Signal, the app that does it all while keeping your privacy and your information safe. So let's get right to it. As you can see, I've installed it here on my phone. You can install it on your iPhone, Android, and even has a Windows and Mac version. Now, if I open it, you'll be greeted with the setup screen. And let's go through it together. Now, first of all, tap on continue here at the bottom. And now you need to allow some permissions to allow the app to access your contacts in order to add the contacts and see if they are using Signal so you can chat with them and also enable notifications so that you get notified when someone sends you a new message. Okay, so continue on both, allow notifications and allow access to my contacts. And here it asks you if you want to share with your contacts, if you want to share Signal with all your contacts or if you want to choose and select some contacts to share Signal with i'm not going to share it with anyone right now so i'm gonna tap on select contacts right here and then at the bottom you'll see select contacts later i'm gonna tap on it and now it asks for your phone number so i'm gonna enter it pretty quickly right now and make sure to enter it correctly because they are going to send you a confirmation message on this number now tap on next here at the top right and then here it says they are going to send the verification code to this number so tap on yes now, if you've used Signal before on another iOS device, you want to tap on the second option to transfer your chat history and all your information from your old device. Or if you are just registering as a new user, tap on the first option that's register without transferring. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, just tap on I am human. And then complete this quick like recapture in order to confirm that you are a human. Okay, verify. And now you want to paste the verification code that is sent. Okay. And here you want to create your pin. Now the pin adds another layer of security so that when you open the Signal app, you are required to enter your pin in order to access all your chats and contacts. So I'm going to enter a pin right here. Okay. Now tap on next here at the top right. Confirm your pin. Next once again. And then you want to set up your profile. So you will enter your first name here and your last name if you want. I'm just going to enter my first name and then next at the top right. And you are here. Now here you can get started with some actions like adding a new group, add your profile photo, invite some friends and edit the appearance of the app. And here at the bottom you have your main menu items. You have your chats. Uh, of course, there are no chats yet because I just installed the app. You have your calls, which will show your call history, and you have your stories. You can view the stories of your contacts or create your own story. Now, let's go back to chat here. And you want to go to the top right in order to start your first chat or at the top left to view your profile information. And let's tap on settings to go to the app settings right here. And here you can edit all these settings like the account settings, linked devices, you can donate to Signal, the appearance, chats, stories, notifications, privacy, data usage, payment, and help. Let's focus on the privacy options right here because there are plenty to do. Now, here you can view your phone number at the top, you can view your blocked contents, and here you can enable or disable the read receipts and typing indicators. So read receipts is basically when you send a message and the contact like reads it and it gives you like a, an icon similar to that blue check mark on WhatsApp saying that the contact read your message. The typing indicators is when you are receiving a message, you can see when the other contact is typing their message and you can enable or disable disappearing message. Now, this is a cool feature. You can, if you go click on it, you can set the message to disappear after a certain time, like in 30 seconds. Basically, when you send a message after 30 seconds, the message will disappear. You can set it to 35 minutes up to four weeks, or you can set custom time right here. Let's say I want it to disappear after two minutes. Set. Okay, set. And now it is set to two minutes. And here you have the app security. 
you can hide screen in app switcher if you want to and you can enable screen lock to use face id or any biometric method used on your phone in order to lock the app so when i enable it each time i open signal it'll ask me to verify with face id on my iphone and you can have payments lock as well requiring face id show calls in the recent list in the ios phone app and you have some advanced settings as well now let's go back here okay and let's add a contact create your first contact from the top right okay you can add a new group find by username if the person is using signal or find by phone number or invite friends to signal and for the sake of this video let's type in here note to self which will give me a contact call note to self of course if you have some friends that have installed signal before or are using signal you can chat with them and add them with their phone number or with their username now as you can see here in the chat i have disappearing message set to two minutes they even notify me of that and here i can type a message saying hello and tap on the blue arrow here to send it and i can add stickers from here the paper icon okay i have many stickers to choose from let's go back to the keyboard and as you can see on the message you have the two check marks right here meaning that the message is read and this clock icon here is the disappearing message after two minutes the message will disappear now if i tap and hold on the message i can add an emoji i can tap and hold once again i can reply i can forward this message to another contact i can even edit it if i made a like a typo or want to add a word or something like that okay let's go back and i can even select this message in order to do anything with it i can view the info if i tap on info I can see here that this is read by me or in this case it will be read by the other contact and at the top here you'll see a timer that tells me that this message will be disappearing in 41 seconds and counting down pretty cool let's go back okay okay let's go back to the chat itself and let's go you can go ahead and record an audio if you tap on the microphone icon here at the very bottom right okay however you need to allow access to the microphone first so press and hold to record your audio or just press and swipe up and record and talk as you wish and then tap on the blue arrow and your audio message will be sent. Now here it is loading as you can see and now it is read. Now this message, the first message is going to disappear at any moment now. As you can see it disappeared. And the cool thing is that the disappearing message can be set by chat. So let's say I want to disable disappearing message for this contact. Let me go ahead and tap at the top here next to the contact name. Tap on disappearing message and then turn it off. So this way this contact won't have disappearing message and our conversation will stay and will not disappear. Now you can tap on the plus icon here at the bottom left. You can see all the other options you can send a photo a gif you can send files you can send contact you can send a location and you can send payment so here i've disabled it in the settings to open settings and allow access like for your gallery in order to send photos you can do that if you open settings and allow access and if you tap on the camera icon here next to the microphone it'll open the camera in order to take an image and send it as an image so let's do that pretty quickly of course you'll need to allow access to the camera and select an image or take an image and then tap on the arrow icon here to send it of course you can edit it so you have some edits options right here if you tap on this pen icon you can like scribble on the image and select a color draw with it you can add text stickers and you can blur faces if you want to now let's go back discard the changes you can crop and rotate the image and you can save it if you want to now let's send it and the image is now sent and of course if the image is saved to your gallery you can get it from there by tapping on the plus and then photos now as you can see you have many options right here in the signal app so it's a pretty feature rich application that is private and open source so anyone can view the source code and view all the settings in the app and i do encourage you to go ahead and install it if you want a private messaging app to use with your colleague or your friends if you are working on any secure projects so that was pretty much it a quick overview of the signal app how to install it and 
the features that are offered to you.